back. What a journey. And I'm back just in time to talk about the song from Malta, which is called Coming Home and it's performed by Firelight. Interesting video to this. It's got a World War One theme, soldiers on the, uh, on the battlefield, in the trenches, going through all sorts of hell, as I'm sure we've all heard about in history lessons at school. The, um, the song itself, it doesn't automatically bring to mind thoughts of that conflict. It instead is uh, something that's very popular at the minute, so it has that, I keep saying folks in a lot of these videos, but they're all not folksy songs this year. It's got that sort of vibe, it's, it's pleasant, it's a bit acoustic. There's that sort of a uh, very happy lady on the keyboard. <laughs> Who, when you look at that line up, you've never really seen a line like that before. The concert, it, 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 it looks very different, and I think it looks really good actually. I, I, I really like it. And the song itself, it's instantly memorable, but I think it has that energy to it and it has that vibe to it where you just warm to it and just think, Oh, I like this, I'd like this to do well. It's not one of those sort of very cynical songs you're going to see at Eurovision where somebody's gone. Mm, what will it take for me to win the Eurovision Song Contest? I know, I'll follow this formula and I will, victory will soon be, be within my grasp. It's not like that at all. It's a proper song and that's what I think we've got a lot this year. It's proper songs, nothing that is too cynical. Uh, people seem to be sort of thinking outside the Eurovision-y box uh, and Malta's one of them. A lot of people say it's a bit Mumford and Sons, uh, this song by Firelight. Just because one group has come along in recent years that's got a bit of a name for itself and doing this type of music doesn't mean anybody does something similar is copying that group. It's I think it's very different because Malta only sends something really sugary sweet and saccharine and or as a man dressed as a giant seagull flapping about behind a woman. It's very different from Malta. It's kind of a progression from last year. Uh, with, uh, you know, Jeremy who works in IT, that sort of funky, vaguely hipsterish type song they had last year. It's a nice progression from that. And probably, if everything goes right for them, even though they're opening the second semi-final, I think Malta is going to go through. And if um, the uh, gods of the running order smile down on them favourably, I don't think top five is beyond this. I think it's brilliant, although I probably have placed about 20 songs in the top five so far. Um, I really, really would like to see this do well and wouldn't be brilliant if it's finally this that brings Malta its maiden win at Eurovision when it's not the most Maltese-ish song that's ever been put forward for it. So with that in mind, whilst I unpack my case, which is full, I promise you, of all the things I've taken on my travels, uh, here's Lego person with score. Bye bye. I sure do hope they don't crow about this.